Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool kind of paper background texture effect in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to go over this entire edit kind of frame by frame and go over how I basically created um, each of these different effects using this really cool kind of paper um, texture background. Now, I'll put all the paper assets down in the description below. Don't worry, it's completely free. Okay, so I want to go over this tire, as you can see right here, this entire effect right here, this tire and clip. I'm going to kind of go frame by frame. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of layers to um, this effect. So I'm just going to kind of go through this frame by frame right here. So you can see each one of these holds for 20 frames. And as you can see right here, so just have it boom pop up on screen right here now I'll go brief overview overview of what i've done so I'll go to 50 percent right here as you can see i basically just cut around the paper um uh rip right there just to make sure that the, uh, the uh, photo fits inside of the paper rip i just did that for so if i go here um i'll go over here right here as you can see there you see it just cut around um the paper rip effect right there just you know I, you have to use a draw mask there's no really other way to do that you can't just you know cro uh, crop it because you're gonna have some other video i'll go ahead and kind of go right here you, you just you want to use some sort of draw mask um it's not gonna fit properly in there so i'll we'll, we'll go ahead go over here go to this little um paper texture right here so you can see you see that that's the paper texture paper texture right there's called the paper background um, right there so all you want to do is you want to overlay it I believe it comes with like small medium and large I decided to use a small one there's two other ones and you can of course you know determine which one you want so all I did right here was I went to the blend mode I changed the blend mode to lighten right here and then I changed the opacity to 35 if I leave it to 100 that looks perfectly fine right here but I decided to turn the opacity down all the way to 35% right here and then here is a paper um, rip right here and I just scaled this up to 225% uh, percent right there so you can see right here I'm just gonna go uh, frame by frame so I'll go like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 now the next photo shows up so it shows up every 10 frames so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the next photo shows up right there. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now the next photo shows up right there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the next photo shows up right here. And now I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 right here. All I have right here is I just have a video right here. Now as you can see right here, I just changed the scale um, to 85%. I put on um, uh, a LUT right there. So I changed the scale to 85% right here. And then I just added this really cool um, uh, little effect right here. That's from a, a Cinepax um, paper like texture um, uh, plugin or pack. So I'll go ahead and just put it down in the description below. You obviously don't have to do this, but I thought it would look really cool to the yellow text. So we'll go with this with the next frame right here. And as you can see, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So the text lasts for about 29 frames because I left one frame in the in the beginning without any text um, right there. So basically, I'll go ahead and just open this up right here. So Shift Command G right here, and then here's the text right here. I basically just moved it in one frame right here, and then moved it out one frame right there. Basically, just to create like a pyramid. Um, or a staircase right there and then as you can see right here that's pretty much it right here and then I'll go like this one two three four five six right here and then I just have this really cool kind of like paper collage um, transition now I've made a video on this effect before but I wanted to kind of tweak it and make it look a lot nicer right here so I'll go like this so one two three four five one two three four five and then one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and there you go now it transitions into this clip right here so if i go and take on this shift command g 
um, right here. This is what it looks like um, right here. And obviously, all this compound clip is is a clip with a paper um, rip right here. So as you can see right here, I went every so if, so I went every five frames. So however however many frames you go by, you want to multiply that by the number of clips right here. So if I went so if I went one two three four five one two three four five, it changed every five uh, frames. And there's three of them. I'll just take five and times it by um, fifteen. So it's the amount of frames you hold each of them by, multiply it by by the layers of clips you have right there. So every, every five, there's three layers. So multiply that and you'll get 15. So I had to make each one of these um, 15 frames long right there. Okay, so now you transitioned into um, this clip right here. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five right here. And now you have this clip right here. Now this is, this is not part of the paper overlay. This is part of an eight millimeter film effect. And this does cost money, but you don't have to add it. That's what it looks like without it. I just decided I thought it looked pretty cool um, right there. And that's pretty much it. It's just different photos stacked onto each other. And then I just use the paper rip effect. So shift command G. Uh, so you can see here, that's what it looks like um, right there. And that's pretty much it. And I just took the middle photo right here. And that's where the draw mask is um, right there. And that's pretty much it right here. So I go ahead and play it right here. It changes every 10 frames right here. And then you have a text repeater, paper transition. And there we go. And that's pretty much it. That is really cool. Kind of or really, a couple cool ways you can use. Basically, the video is focusing primarily on this right here. So you can see right here, this paper texture effect. That's what I mainly want to focus in this video right here. And I want to go over like three or four or five different methods or different ways um, you can use this effect right here. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what this video is about. It's about this really cool kind of paper background, paper texture effect. I'll just call it like a paper background effect. Obviously, it doesn't have to be called a paper background, but I'll just call that for the sake of, call that for the sake of the video right there. And that's pretty much it right here. Changes every 10 frames, a text repeater, and then you have a really cool paper transition um, effect right here. Remember, all you want to do is click on the click on your photo right here where the paper rip is, cut it out right there, and then you want to add this cool paper overlay right here. And then here is the texture right here. Changes the blending mode to lighten, change the opacity to 35, and voila, you have created a really cool paper um, texture effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 230 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy this video. See you in the next one. Peace.